Scorpio, this is going to be in early July 2021 and or timeless reading for you. Um, all my info is in the description box below. Reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading. It's only a dollar a minute. Um, share with friends, family, uh, loved ones. If you think they'd be interested in a reading or content, you could purchase a reading for them as a gift. Um, <clears throat> just contact me, set it up, etc., etc. Check out the Instagram, Facebook, all things social media. Uh, leave a comment below, like, share, follow. Uh, appreciate all my followers and viewers. Um, can't do this without you guys, so thank you. Um, what else can I say? Scorpio, July 2021. Let's see. Sorry, I don't mean to be dead eyeing you. I'm just focused on the camera lens right now. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I usually record on my phone, but this time I got my laptop set up, so you might notice a difference in the quality of the video. Um, but everything's coming from my heart, so no worries, uh, Scorpio. Uh, just trying to get the best reading for you. Other readings I've done, uh, astrological house lookup. So look up your astrological house and have this reading pertain to that. Um, I believe Scorpio rules the eighth house, seventh house. Um, shout out to that orb that just passed. It looks like something passed on the screen. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but it's sex, the taboo, relationships. Like it, certain, it rules certain elements. Um, Back. Let me try to pull that up. Here's an overall card for that as I pull that up so I don't have you waiting. Uh, Two of Wands in the Upright. This is actually the card of Aries uh, mixed with Scorpio that reaches out to the Tower card. Um, tower card is sudden disruptions, um, sudden changes, uh, divine intervention. Uh, this is about uh, strategic foresight, looking into the future. Um, let me try to pull this up for you uh, as far as the astrological house. So feel free to apply this uh, to your astrological house and or just a general reading uh, for yourself, Scorpio. But Two of Wands is looking into the future, planning about where you would want to be. Um, you know, you see this individual on a coastline, on a seashore. Um, so yeah, Scorpio rules the 8th house, so feel free to pertain this energy to your 8th house. Uh, Scorpio is a ruling uh, sign over the 8th house. Not to say that you're going to have Scorpio over your 8th house uh, on your natal chart, but the fact that this is the ruling energy, um, I'm just going to take it at face value. Um, and of course the energies are ethereal and quantum, so feel free to apply that to your 8th house. Um, it's, a, it's a mysterious sector that rules birth, death, sex, transformation, mysteries, merged energies, bonding at the deepest level, other people's property, money, real estate, inheritance, investments. Okay, <clears throat> I'm trying to get the actual image here, um, as opposed to just the written word version of it. Uh, we have the chariot in the upright. Uh, this is a fast, victorious energy, fast moving energy um, coming out here with the chariot. Um, this is the season of cancer season, which we're in until the 21st. Um, let's see. So yeah, this is kind of like a jump on board or jump out the way type energy. Uh, so this, you know, Cancerian season until the 21st, it could be a window uh, in time for you to strategically plan how you want things to go in regards to your intimate life. Uh, if you're in a partnership, shared finances, inheritances, taxes, loans, assets, property, you might be dealing with, you know, loans and, and moving your money around as well. Uh, goals, joint ventures, partners, resources. Um, 
this is kind of planning and strategizing, possibly with a partner, maybe a business partner, for that shared success, for that shared victory. Um, and for some reason or another, it all seems to be very potent um, in this uh, window. Um, so very cool for you, Scorpio. Yes, I finally got a good image of this. Okay, at least that I can see on my end. Uh, four wands in the upright. So this is, you know, going public with someone. This is a marriage. This is a union, public celebration of sorts. Um, you know, you have the two of wands and the four of wands. That makes me want to, you could be planning for a wedding, a summertime marriage, um, something fast, fast opportunity. This is cancer season. This is Leo, the body of the lion, moving into Virgo. So all through the next couple months, this is going to be a very auspicious time for you, Scorpio, powered by the number seven. This is a spiritual path. If I want to add these wands and do some tarot math, that leads us to the six of wands. This is a public victory and celebration coming around the corner. Um, and it almost as if it's going to be a spur of the moment, quick opportunity, using experience and expertise to be able to kind of whip this up or put this together. You could reach out to a party planner. Um, excuse me for drinking on camera. Yes, a party planner so that you could come out of worry. Nine of Swords in the reverse is coming out of worry mode. Um, someone that could take care of the details. Someone that's experienced in setting up. You have the broader vision, like a Steve Jobs or a Jeff Bezos. Um, and you hire someone of expertise, this charioteer is a high-ranking um, warrior, to kind of, uh, you know, have this, uh, this uh, train on its track pull through and pull forth for you, um, so as to execute this, okay? Uh, this is around July 5th, so it could be pertaining to 4th of July energies as well, energies of independence. Check out the astrology of what's going on lately and apply it to yourself. Um, everything is for the kind of burning away of karmic energies, anything that's going to lower your vibration, okay? Uh, King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is finances, someone being stuck or stubborn or, uh, you know, kind of dug in, uh, coming out of heartbreak here, okay? Um, so this could be a number of interpretations here, but in the very least, uh, Two of Pentacles is prioritization um, of your values, of your virtues, of your priorities. Uh, coming out of heartbreak, coming out of sadness, coming out of loss, possibly with a King of Pentacles. This is Aries or Taurus energy as well. Um, let's see, what else can I get for you, Scorpio? Ace of Wands in the reverse. It's not a time to start something new. Uh, you might feel like you're dealing with uh, you know, I'm just going to say it, a con artist with the magician in reverse, uh, coming out of somebody who probably gaslit you. Um, this is the inability to manifest, uh, typically because of the, 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 the vision, the mind, the mental aspect. The magician has all the tools of the trade to manifest. Ace of Wands is uh, encouraging you to continue working on something that's already pre-established or pre-ordained. Um, you know, there might be conflict, uh, but conflict is always for the higher good. Again, burning away of your karmic energies. If you have to reduce yourself uh, away from this King of Pentacles in the reverse for more stability, then do so. Um, focusing on that, on that kind of base um, stability in regards to finances. Uh, the Empress in the Upright, this is all things positive coming through for you. Excuse me for the noise in the background. Um, so yeah, one second. The Empress is a great uh, card to end on. On that note, this is all things lovely uh, in regards to love and finances. She's very auspicious. She's the mother of the tarot, perpetually pregnant. She is uh, metaphorically uh, bringing new life. She's going to give birth eventually to something great and awesome for you out of this possible marriage union or business venture. Um, One second.
So uh, a lot of good things around the corner for you, um, Scorpio. Uh, focus on outsourcing any details to someone more experienced so as to execute this, and you can focus on your base uh, of uh, kind of stability in regards to finances or resources. Um, so that, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. I have another uh, reading that just called in, uh, full disclosure, transparency. So uh, reach out for a one-on-one -on -one reading. And uh, love you lots. Leave a comment below if this resonated. For the, the personal readings, they're more detailed. And, um, you know, we could really jump into your situation if you need guidance. So love you lots, Scorpio. Leave a comment below. Uh, again, feel free to apply this whenever you come across it. Peace and love.